Hello and welcome to Chuck's Diecast and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this lovely machine. This is the Porsche 911 GT1 98. Uh, this car was the Le Mans winner in 1998, I believe. Uh, driven by, as you can see here, Laurent Aiello, Alan McNish, and Stefan Ortelli. Um, I do have a confession to make about the uh, 911 GT1 that this car is. I think this is probably the best looking race car that Porsche ever made, maybe along with a couple of the uh, 908 versions from the 1960s. It may seem sacrilege because so many people like the 917 and so do I, but I, I think this is a gorgeous car. Uh, this particular model, as you can see here, is made by Maisto and again it's 118 scale and I think it's actually a pretty good model particularly for the price uh, I didn't really pay a whole lot for this I don't recall how much I paid because I bought it probably mm, close to 20 years ago or so um, but uh, it is an excellent little model uh, if you don't know the history of uh, this particular car um, the 911 GT1 was basically created to compete in the classes against the uh, McLaren F1 in uh, endurance racing, uh, probably because they, as well as Mercedes for that matter, uh, they probably got mad when McLaren won Le Mans back in 95, so they decided to build a car to compete against it. But uh, um, looking at this particular model, um, I mean, it is, uh, like I said, it is a really nice model for, you know, the uh, the brand here. Uh, I've actually seen this car, so I can tell you that the detail is really nice. Uh, the uh, the wheels look great. Um, maybe the uh, silvery rotors are a little bit overdone. Uh, but, uh, uh, and there is no uh, caliper on the brakes, but again, for the price, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, even the branding on the uh, tires there, the Michelin branding, is really, really good. Um, you can see here that the the decal work is really nice. Uh, I do like the uh, FIA badging there on the the top of the uh, hood scoop. I think that is uh, well done as well. They even were good enough to uh, put on the toe uh, loop there for the front of the vehicle too so uh, again nicely done from the rear uh, you can actually see that uh, it is a derivative of course just barely of the street 911 uh, in that these are 911 taillights but uh, other than and uh, you know it has as you can see from the front early, uh, you know, the, of the water-cooled 911 headlights, so that's kind of about it. <laughs> that makes it a 911. Maybe maybe this uh, roof or something is 911 as well, but other than that, no. Very, very little 911. Um, but, uh, you know, of course, one of the nice things about this model here is, uh, you know, is the uh, the engine detail. Uh, it's kind of fiddly to open here, but let me go ahead and open this up for you. Come on. There we go. All right. You can see here that they really did do a good job. I mean, Intec is, you know, uh, nice. It's got, uh, you know, that uh, carbon fiber texture on that, as well as the, uh, uh, what are the intake runners, I guess. Uh, for the engine. Um, you can see here that it has real springs there for the rear suspension so very good. So uh, you can see the A-arms for the suspension so uh, yeah I'm uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, these look like the pop-off valves for the turbos so again uh, well done there too. So definitely no complaints there either. So um, and then, of course, the other nice thing is it does open 
to show the interior as well. The uh, good fit of the doors does make it a little bit tougher to open, so I'll let gravity do the job there. Uh, but you can see here that the uh, cockpit detail is actually pretty darn good as well. Hopefully uh, it focuses for you here and you can see that, but you can see you know the surprisingly manual gear shift uh, the uh, um, the steering wheel again is decent uh, and you can see that the uh, seats do have belts and uh, they are the expected racing seats that you would see in this particular car uh, let's see if I can get to the other side and show you the yeah, there you go. You can see the uh, the instrumentation there as well. So let me bring it in here, and you can see the instrumentation as well as the pedals. So very, very good. All right. So um, again. Uh, I am more than happy with this model. I don't see any need to get any, you know, higher detailed model of this because I'm very happy with it. Um, so, uh, well, that'll go ahead and complete my review of this car. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please uh, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for uh, taking a look at my video and have a great day.